Lesson 1 and 2 we covered 90 and 45 degree angles. But sometimes, especially for certain faceted gem layouts, we might also need other degrees. The technique is rather simple and you might have learned it in school already. One triangle, also called a triangular protractor, has a degree scale. I start with a horizontal line. Then I align this triangle with the line and create a mark at zero degrees. This point zero is the starting point to measure different degrees. On this side of the triangle, you can find the degrees from zero to 90. On the other side from 90 to 180. Let's create a 60 degree angle. On this edge of the triangle I make a mark at 60 degree. Then align it with the zero degree mark and draw a line. To show that this line and the horizontal line are in a 60 degree angle to each other, we draw an arc. Inside this area we write a degree number, in this case 60, and a small circle next to it which is the symbol for degree. If you would like to measure the degrees, you align your triangle with the horizontal line and point zero. Follow the line to the edge of the triangle and read the scale. On the yellow circular scale you can see a different number, 120 in this case. Do not let this confuse you. We are measuring the degrees between the horizontal line and the degree line. As we only concentrate on the area above the horizontal line, we have a range of 180 degrees, a semicircle. A full circle has 360 degrees. The yellow circular scale shows the degrees the other way round. Hence, on the outer edge we can see 60, on the yellow scale 120. 120 plus 60 equals 180. I show you another example, 110 degrees. Bye-bye.